Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 3.2 Estimate products And our essential question is What strategies can you use to estimate products? So let's unlock the problem The Smith family opens the door of their refrigerator 32 times in one day There are 31 days in May about how many times is it opened in May? Underline any information you will need. So the Smith family opens the door of their refrigerator 32 times in one day. And there are 31 days in May. Okay. And the question said about. Okay, guys, when you see the word about means we will estimate okay so about how many times is it opened in may so in one day it's 32 times so in 31 days it will be 32 multiply 31 so let's see how we will do this so one way use rounding and mental math so we will estimate 32 multiply 31 so the step number one round each factor so we round the 32 and we round the 31 to the nearest 10 so to round 32 to the nearest 10 to the right of the 3 we have 2 which is weak digit so we will keep it 30 also the 31 to the right of the 3 we have 1 which is also a weak digit so we'll keep it 30 so 30 multiply 30 Okay, so as we said in the past lesson, we will do 3 multiply 3, which is 9, and we have here two zeros in the factors, so they will be also two zeros in the product. So it's 900. So the Smith family opens the refrigerator door about 900 times during the month of May okay here is a question on average a refrigerator door is opened 38 times each day about how many fewer times in may is the smith family's refrigerator door opened than the average refrigerator door okay so about how many fewer if you remember guys how many fewer it means we will do minus so we need to know the average in one month is how many so it's 38 times each day and may has 31 days so the average for the average it will be 38 multiply 31 so 38 in one day and it's in 31 days so multiply 38 by 31 so as here he said about so we will estimate this so 38 if we round it to the nearest 10 to the right of the 3 we have 8 which is a strong digit so the 3 will be 4 so it will be 40 multiply 31 if we round it to the right of the 3 we have 1 which is weak digit so we'll keep it 30 so 30 multiply 40 will multiply the 4 by the 3 which is 12 and we have two zeros in the factors they will appear in the product so 1200 times this is the average okay and the smith family opens the door 900 times so how many of you are will should subtract 1200 minus the 900 which is equal to 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 and 2 minus 9 it can't be so the 2 will be 12 and this one will be 0 so 12 minus 9 is 3 so it's a 300 fewer times okay another example here 
All 24 light bulbs in the Park family's home are CFL light bulbs. Each CFL light bulb uses 28 watts to produce light. About how many watts will the light bulbs use when turned on all at the same time? So we have 24 bulbs each is 28 watts so here we'll multiply 24 by 28 but he said about so we will estimate so here we have another way to estimate which is using mental math and compatible numbers so compatible numbers guys are numbers that are easy to compute mentally usually it's with zeros or it has 25, 50, or 75. So here estimate 24 and 28 using compatible numbers. So the 24 is really close to 25. And 28 is close to 30. So let's multiply these. So as we said, we will multiply the 25 by 3 and we put the 0 in the product. So it's a question here is like, 25 multiply 3 so 25 multiply 3 is 75 so it's 750 so it's about 750 watts okay what if we used rounding so if we use rounding 24 to the right of the 2 we have 4 which is weak so we'll make it 20 multiply 28 to the right of the 2 we have 8 which is strong so the 20 will be 30 so 20 multiply 30 is we multiply 2 by 3 which is 6 and we have two zeros in the factors we write them in the product so it's 600 okay so you can solve by the way that you find easier Okay, so try this. Estimate 26 multiply 79 dollars. Here we will round that letter A and the letter B will solve the same question using compatible numbers. So if we round 26 to the right of the 2, we have 6 which is strong. So the 20 will be 30. 79 to the right of the 7 we have 9 which is strong also. So the 70 will be 80 dollars so let's multiply 30 by 80 we will multiply the 3 by the 8 which is 24 and we have two zeros in the factors we write them in the product so 2400 dollars so it's about 2400 dollars using compatible numbers so 26 is really close to 25 and 79 is close to 80 so if we multiply 25 by 80 we'll put this zero in the product and let's think 25 multiply 8 so we know that 25 multiply 4 is 100 so 4 25s are 100 so 8 25s should be 200 it's double of 25 multiply 4 so it will be 200 so it will be two thousand dollars so 26 multiply 79 dollars will be two thousand dollars okay number two here explain why two thousand four hundred dollars and two thousand dollars are both reasonable estimates okay so at both ways we use the numbers close to the numbers in the question. So 26, we used 30, 30 is close. 79, we used 80, 80 is also close. 2,400 will be a reasonable estimate. And also here at compatible numbers, we used 25, which is really close to the 26, and 80, which is really close to the 79. So the 2,000 is also reasonable. So both answers are reasonable because we used numbers close to the numbers in the question in what situation might you choose to find 
an estimate rather than exact answer okay so we use the estimate when we want to calculate something fast or when we don't need the exact answer like for example if you have a party and you need some cakes so you estimate about how many pieces of cakes that you will get and now should I show number one to estimate the product of 62 and 28 by rounding how would you round the factors what would the estimated product be okay so the 62 I round it to so round 62 to, to the right of the 6 we have 2 which is weak so we'll keep it 60 and the 28 2 so to the right of the 2 we have 8 which is strong digit so the 20 will be 30 okay so 60 multiply 30 we will multiply 6 by 3 which is 18 and we have two zeros in the factors so we we'll write them in the product so 1800 here estimate the product choose a method okay so okay so you can use whatever method you like better okay so here let's use rounding so let's round to the nearest 10 here 96 and 34 so to the right of the 9 we have 6 the 6 is a strong digit so the 90 will be 100 so 100 multiply 34 to the right of the 3 we have 4 which is weak digit so we'll keep it 30 so 100 multiply 30 here we write 1 2 3 zeros 1 2 3 zeros and 1 multiply 3 is 3 so it's 3000 here 40 number 3 47 multiply 39 dollars so let's round to the nearest 10 so to the right of the 4 we have 7 which is strong digit so the 40 will be 50 multiply the 39 to the right of the 3 we have 9 which is strong digit so the 30 will be 40 dollars and that's equal to 5 multiply 4 is 20 and we have two zeros we should write them in the product so it will be two thousand dollars okay number four 78 multiply 72 so let's round the 78 and 72 to the nearest 10 so to the right of the 7 we have 8 which is strong so the 70 will be 80 multiply the 72 to the right of the 7 we have 2 which is weak digit so the 70 we keep at 70 and that's equal to 8 times 7 is 56 and we have two zeros so write them in the product so it's 5600 okay guys hope you enjoyed this lesson have a nice day and goodbye